Habari, it's Alka Chan, no top Tamaki. And today I'm gonna be doing a full fledged bleach anime review. And it's for most of y'all know that I mostly I know from my previous videos that I'm obviously a huge bleach fan from even buying games and hell, even making fan art and whatnot, and also even inspire me to be a monk myself. Uh, God bless uh, Tai Kubo. <clears throat> Y'all can take a look if you want before I can start. It inspired, at least inspired me to actually do some art myself. Uh, one of my main characters that I made. Mm. It's not even my best ones. Mm. But now, when I, when I get to this, this topic, I get really, really fanboyish. So, uh, To please y'all, please stick with me. Mm. Another one. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. So, I'm going to review. So, just like how I do certain other videos, I'm going to review Bleach. I'm going to review Bleach by, um, mm, by each saga from, from, you know, such, from the order it is, from, the given thing from like the Soul Society all the way to the Fullbringer arc or even farther if you even count the uh, <clears throat> the manga. So without further ado, cock up the coin. <laughs> mm. The first time I saw Bleach it was on it was on uh it was on Adult Swim. I never knew about it until someone mentioned it when during my third during the third grade. So as so, as soon as I heard it I had to look it up for myself. And I even got all the uh, mm, box Blu-ray DVDs from the library once as a kid. And I pretty much saw every episode from there. And uh, mm, I guess we start from the Agent Shinigami arc, which is being adapted right now by uh, by uh, Warner Bros. in Japan. And I always thought, always thought it had a good, had a good interlude, had a good kickoff. The Agent Shinigami arc had a good kickoff from the good kickoff when it first came out. Uh, each girl was, you know, the stereotypical high school delinquent, although he still kind of got his shit together. He beat up the school, the, the uh, skateboarders who kicked over the flowers from that dead kid. And um, and then there was these monstrous beasts called Hollows was stalking him. And eventually Rukia met him. Y'all well, yeah, know the spell, but yeah. I just felt, I just thought the episode was just blood pumping and it more or less gave me a visual representation of what I'm going to be uh, in for. Uh, I pretty much like the, the mm, some people highly criticized Udiu's uh, rivalry, his appearance in the show, which I honestly thought was no big deal because I actually liked how his little, his little uh, analogy was, he was like, you know, we Quincy's, we don't need you Soul Reapers, we can... We can fight off the hollows. Humanity don't need soul reapers. They're slobs. And although it was a whole vendetta thing going on, but he still wanted to prove that soul reapers ain't shit, you know. And I especially thought the episodes about Onihime's past was really groundbreaking. It was really hard. No less it uh, mm, it got me at the heart. It was there were good episodes. And Pretty much, we move on when Rookie when Rookie was kidnapped by Biaki and Renji and took him to the into the Soul Society that apparently kicked off the Soul Society art and of course Ichigo lost his powers at the time, so he had to get trained from Kisuke and even Chad or the and Uryu vouched to go with them and of course on their way there they also met Ganju the little dumb ninja guy and personally before I actually really get into the awesomeness that is the Soul Society arc, probably one of the greatest anime arcs of all time, up there with like the Frieza Saga or the Saint Sega, to the Saint Sega Tournament Saga when it first began. Uh, I don't really know it partic that particular saga, but in other ways, yeah, Molesh is one of the greatest anime sagas of all time. I uh, personally liked the Biakia, personally liked his fight with Renji, uh, mm. and I, I more or less like the conclusion, I like the fact that everyone had the time 
at the time in the sun. Although it was inevitable that they were clearly outmatched. It was a good conclusion and even had a good plot twist with Eisen faking his death. And really him revealing to be the main antagonist of the whole arc. Really more pulling strings from the shadow. And from there they departure. They all went back to the soul. They all went back to Earth. And boom, that's pretty much how it ended. And of course it was going to, it was building up to something else, which would be the eventual wrong car saga. Which is probably one regarded as people's favorite people regard that as their being their favorite over the Soul Society art. Although, yeah, I like the Soul Society art. Uh, I mean, the Arankar Saga, I do kind of actually have to say that I enjoyed, I fairly enjoyed the Arankar Saga, but I wish there was a, a lot of things they could have done different. You know, sometimes it got really repetitive. They could have did things a little different. You know, the Hueco Mundo kind of almost seemed like the Soul Society arc. Even the concept of him having to save Orihime was kidnapped by Aizen because Aizen thought that her her uh, <clears throat> her time rejection powers can open up the whole Goku sooner and and so on. Overall, I actually enjoyed the Ron Car Saga. I especially enjoyed how, when it first began. Well, at first, before they went to the Hoiko Moon Bell, it was, it was the agents from the uh, Soul Society who came in to go. Well, let's battle the uh, the intruding of Ron Cars who get into this who were getting into Carl Core Town because Aizen needed the town to. More or less do some full metal alchemist shit and, you know, sacrifice all the souls and whatnot. But anyway, that's besides the point. Overall, actually thought that certain plot twists during the the, the uh, overall Hueco Mundo arc could have been better. Like how Yami, the lame fuck, you know, the brr buff one, how he was really the, the Seto Espada, I kind of thought. That was more or less given to Wanderweiss, especially for his role that was kind of bigger. And him sealing uh, mm, uh, uh, Yamamoto's Bankai. And um, and honestly, I even liked the Carl Kors, the Carl Kors, the, the fake Carl Kors Town Saga. Although, I honestly thought Baragon and Stark and Holly Bell, their roles should have been more bigger. Their fights could have been more... Dramatic, you know, there could have been more to those three characters, but overall, from that, I still enjoyed the Carl Core Town, the fake Carl Core Town saga. I wish there's some plot points that could have been better. Like, honestly, I thought like like important players like Baragon or Holly Bell, even Stark. I just felt like the roles could have been really up there with like each going Udi Ukiora's fight or him and Grimjow's fight. I don't like Grimjow, but I did like that fight. And I thought they could also, they could have pulled it off with those three characters, considering they were pretty much the top tier. I thought theirs could have been played off better, just like Grim Jail's. Despite my feelings for Grim Jail, I thought it could have been as big as his and Ukiora's. And of course, when it comes to the end, that when the Ronkar Saga came to an end, which another thing people criticized when Ichigo had that. Had the had the, uh, went to the Donkai Tunnel and got the power boost, and he fought Aizen and he beat him lickety split. A whole lot of people criticized that part, but not being biased, I'm just saying. Honestly, I actually kind of enjoyed their little short fight. Sometimes in filmography and animation, sometimes less is more, and it was nearly just depicting how stronger each go was than Aizen. This. Considering Eisen pretty much built each girl from the ground, as was later revealed during the during the end of the fake Cor fake Cor Cor Town saga, and pretty much considering the Hokyo Ku was going to keep evolving Eisen to the point where each girl was wouldn't be able to defeat him. I thought in the mind of each he knew he had to finish it quick. Overall, I actually enjoyed the Cor Cor Town saga. I even liked the fact that each girl lost his powers for a minute. And, you know, he tried to blend in with, with uh, normal society. Uh, mm. And then we go to the Fullbringer Saga. Apparently, a lot of audience most uh, digressed, uh, uh, digressed Saga in, this, uh, in the series. Which, now again, I'm not also being biased, but I also fairly enjoyed the, the Fullbringer Saga. It was a good... The Fullbringer Saga was pretty much the end result of all of each girl's past objectives and adventures more or less it was 
he's going to his character making up for all of what happened in the past. Like he's more mature, he's more sturdy. I mean, he's kind of depressed sometimes. It, it kind of it kind of comes off him being depressed, but for the most part, it was a, it was really story driven and, and it really was it was a climactic development for each girl's character. Yeah, Holla at James Hansen. He had he made a, a each girl development uh, video. It was actually pretty good. Um, and yeah, pretty much. You know, the whole stick. He got his power taken by Ginjo, and the uh, Soul Society pretty much gave him, gave each girl his powers to fight Ginjo. He beats him. They take his body to the Serate. He saves no, let him bury him in honor by taking him to Earth. And that's apparently where the anime ended. And of course, if anyone who ever reads the manga, such as myself, and take him on a one, uh, it more or less carries on to the thousand. Thousand Year Blood War arc, if I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But in short, I just call it the Quincy Saga, where pretty much the Quincy's was handing the Qu the Soul Soul Reapers their asses, and actually overall actually enjoyed New Hawk Box character. But we're only doing anime here, so and overall and, and overall for the for the Bleach anime, I'm gonna have to give it an exceptional. Because Bleach as an anime actually inspired me as a as a, a writer and an artist. Um, they could have they could have chill they could have they could have ditched the fillers. They could have ditched all the fillers. Although I really don't have a big I don't have a big deal about them, to be honest. But they can ditch most of them. Um, I thought there were certain plot points that could have been played better, and. Overall, that's pretty much about it, especially somewhere in the uh, Roncar Saga. I thought certain plot points could have been played out, maneuvered better, and whatnot. And pretty much that's about it. Uh, like and subscribe down below. Give a thumbs up, notification, and uh, go to my Patreon account. I may be enlisting some new art, from which I've seen might be on there and whatnot. Uh, sh and some shout some personal shout-outs. Uh, shout-out from uh, Andre Mongo Girl. Shout out to Platinum Equinox. Shout out to uh, Impax because he kind of actually inspired me to do these uh, short summaries for anime. Uh, yeah, shout out to Impax. Shout out to Platinum Equinox. Shout out to uh, Tekken 101. Shout out to James Hansen. Shout out to uh, <clears throat> Bleach Up. He kind of really gave me some more about Bleach that I didn't know about that went under my nose. Um, yeah, more or less, uh, shout out to, yeah. Shout out to them, Alex the Bleach Master, and all of them, and whatnot. Guahiri, by the way, and I might be making another video about the summary of the Bleach movie, what I think it's going to be.